G'day mate, welcome back to Captain Ministry with me, Judy. So in our last four episodes, we've got some things done. We've got our copper sorted, we've got our iron sorted, we've got coal sorted, oil sorted, diesel sorted. We're even making our own rubber, our own construction parts. Lots of things that are up and running. But there's a couple of things I want to do before we jump from what we're in now, research number one to research number two. I want to avoid some pitfalls before we jump in head first. Uh, the other things that we need to do is our little automation in the center of town that's doing all our construction parts, all that sort of stuff. I need to rip it up and re need to rebuild it. That's going to be the first thing we need to ha handle this episode. Second thing I need to handle is we need to get more dumping into the sea because we need a lot more space for a cargo dock. The other things that we need to do is we don't have a lot of building space because there's trees everywhere. I want to remove all the trees. All the trees need to go. So we're going to start with probably trees. Uh, and what I've done is I have set the Harvesty Boys to come over here and just rip up all the trees here. Just all of them. All of them have to go. At the same time, we've built in a whole pile of storage. And we have export in the first one, uh, uh, import, import in the first one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set the second one the way we want, uh, import off, export off, press the V button to copy that and paste it to every other building. Uh, you can have import off. All right. We should just flow the wood from the start to the end. I want to have probably, I, I want to build this storage probably everywhere in this area. Uh, because although we could sell the wood very, very cheaply for concrete blocks, we did in the previous episode get concrete blocks up and automated. And this is not quite to ratio. I was one crusher short. And then in the editing process for that episode, I sort of worked out a way we could fit it in, given our little limited space. So this is going to be the next thing we need to work out. Uh, I'm going to bring the press the delete key, and we're going to remove, well, everything between there and there including that. No, I didn't want to remove that. Cancel. Do you now undelete? Good. All right. I want to remove that belt. I want to remove that storage. I want to remove that belt and that belt and that. Please don't remove the rest of the belt. Yes. Okay. And you hopefully trucks come and pick up fairly quickly. Oh, we also need to remove very gingerly those belts. All right, so I need to remove all of that. Uh, we're going to throw Unity at the problem because we can. And that hopefully gets rid of everything except the cement. Can we take the cement to there? There's two cement there currently. There's lots of stuff there currently. They're not moving the cement. Okay. Uh, no, you are not removing cement. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to build a temporary storage right here. We're going to set you for concrete slab. I know. Not slabs. Uh, cement. We're going to quick deliver. Okie dokie. And we'll set you to keep full with an input priority of one. And I'll set this to there. So then hopefully they decide to empty this right now. Because this is export priority one. It's like get the stuff out of there. Cool. That'll fix that problem. All right. So I need to rebuild this. And I need to rebuild this in a way where, well, we squeeze everything in. So this is what we've come up with. It's it's super spaghetti-like over here. But, you know, it is what it is. It all fits nicely. And surprisingly, even though I've tried 100 times in the past, I managed to get the extra core cement belt over here passing very close by without any problems. I don't know why it wouldn't work previously, but it wouldn't. So we're going to set you to empty and then hopefully that gets filled. Same time, toggle the direction on that one. Uh, actually, let's not toggle the direction. Let's just pause it. Yes, we're going to pause both these belts and hopefully uh, we can get this emptied into that one. All right. So that'll get that back up and running. That'll now run at maximum efficiency. Next thing we need to talk about is uh, the tree harvesters. The tree harvesters now have no jobs to do. So like I said, I want to extend that out to probably about there. And I actually want to sort of increase this just slightly uh, like so. So uh, that's going to be the grand plan for our tree harvesting. We are going to select basically every tree on the map and say get rid of all of them because this is all valuable building space I could be using. All right, so with that out of the way, uh, trucks, stop dumping here. 
I need to extend this out. I need to extend this out. All right, so extend that out for cargo space. Next thing I need to talk about is our coal mine. Our coal mine is going to be cut again. I want our... Now we're, we're fine on coal. I want them to come out here. I want them to dig out this hill. Okay, this hill is forcing trucks to path around it. If I could just level that out, that would make my life easier and make the trucks' lives easier, which I'm all for. Uh, we're going to delete that. And that's been moved through. Cool. That's been moved through. All right. So, in theory, we'll start mining that one as well. Next thing is copper. Copper is... I'm going to pause this because I want to build you there. The very thing, first thing I need to do is say... You cannot dump anything there. So I want to rearrange our copper mind control tower uh, and move it out of the way. At the same time, I want to... I've already marked out the, the land. I want to delete this retaining wall. Uh, I'm going to quick remove that. And I want to rebuild the retaining wall out further. Okay. Uh, we obviously making this little copper dump has worked wonders. But we're going to need more. I, I, I basically need, at the moment, one of the big concerns is that docking area. There's just not enough of it, okay? We need more docking area, and the best way to get more docking area is with uh, just digging up as much useless material as possible and dumping it in the sea. So I want to quick deliver that. I'm going to unpause you. At the same time, we're going to unpause all of these guys. And, oh, and that one. And you are probably actually quick deliver as well. Because I want to move uh, you and you and plus those four trucks and reassign them here. Except I want you to be prioritized to rock and you to also be prioritized to rock. And then if I just quick deliver that so I feel comfortable, we want to remove all of that. All right. I want all that gone as well. Okay. We're going to remove that up, uh, that, and hopefully we can get our excavators to uh, cancel that. Uh, no. Flat and then raised and fill that up to there. Now. Our retaining walls. Retaining walls, which we covered briefly in the last episode. Retaining walls will, will hold things up to a level of, of five units. Five units, okay? That's very, very important because we start off at plus two. This ends at plus seven. But if I have a... Go away. If I have a raised plus seven, it's so hard to see. There are so many other things in the way. Can we remove all of that, please? Just to make it easier for me to demonstrate. Okay. If I have that as a raised plus seven, that actually leans out of... If I turn... No, because if I press that, that makes it go away. Uh, that makes it go over the top of the retaining wall. So I actually need to flatten out the top level and put that right there. And are you stuck? You are stuck and you are stuck. And you do not belong to that tower. What do you belong to? You were trying to get concrete slabs, so you're general, and you are also general. Okay, so we're going to recover you and recover you, because they both got jammed. Although, what are you trying to dump here? I hope you guys didn't jump, dump junk, did you? Yeah, that looks like trash. Uh, even doing things in pause mode, sometimes a truck gets carried away. Okay, uh, new refugees we need to turn off. Uh, we already have. Okay. All right. Uh, next thing you want to do is right here. Right here, I want to build a groundwater pump and a storage tank, which we're going to assign with water. Uh, just because eventually, in theory, this is going to use 120 water and our pipes do 60. And more importantly, these guys do 48. And this particular pump is doing like triple duty. It's feeding the water into here also feeding our water all the way up to copper, which is okay currently, but I'm about to start using a lot of copper in the not-too-distant future, which is going to strain that one pump. So I have a backup, which I want to pause that and unpause that. Also means that this pump can go away. It's sort of in my way. Sort of a little bit in my way. Uh, you can also go away because you're sort of in my way as well. So I cleared out some space. So cleared out some space. Uh, we are landfilling. We are treeing. Yes, 
2.2k total storage. We can unpause those guys and truck export off, which are paste. No, I will pay, copy, paste, 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 and import off. All right. So they'll get built in good future, a uh, good good time, and that should get that one running. Next thing we need to talk about is going to be iron. Okay, we have these two little iron builds here, which are perfectly fine. They they do the job, but we need to upgrade them. We need to upgrade them thoroughly. I need something that's a little bit more industrious. So again, we're going to bring up our layers. We are going to turn off everything that we don't care about, uh, which is just the iron ore. And I can see the iron ore stretches to here. And that's a couple of tiles deep. I'm not sure what the exact imp uh, the, 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 the markers are, but I'm pretty sure that two of these equals one tile worth of depth. So that could be one, two, three, four tiles deep. Could be, could be. Don't take my word for it. We, we, we'll, we will find out as the game progresses. So what I want to do is I actually want to put a retaining wall in the ground right here. Uh, I want to put in a couple of retaining walls like so. Now, even though these are in pause mode, the trucks will drive around them like they exist. So that's something we need to keep in mind. Uh, and I basically want to... Oh! Oh! And on top of that, you can see we're only marking every second tile. So there's a good chance that iron actually spreads out to this tile, this tile, this tile, and this tile. So technically i probably want to move that over a tile yeah uh can we just remove that we'll cut we'll pick up all those and we'll put them there instead we'll put you there all right so i probably want to build a retaining wall like that which means i have this much room to re-automate everything plus you'll get there eventually and you'll get emptied into there eventually yeah because that's full all right i yeah i i have this much room to rebuild iron and automate everything now iron obviously if we're going to retaining wall off this side so we can dig out this here we can put in a slope and whatever we want i want to build sort of left to right have or import here or import here for the iron ore but then technically i want coal import on this side that's where things are going to get difficult so uh give me a minute let's see whether we can plan something out and we'll be back for the conclusion you're running yeah we can unpause that pipe and uh, our belt and unpause that belt all right so that's the build that's the build with a truck jammed in the middle uh no trucks found its way out okay uh now there's a couple of things i need to mention uh really yeah apply settings from that one please all right uh there's a couple of things i need to mention uh first off this is one hell of a smelting build um we went from two blast furnaces up to four blast furnaces we went from four metal casters to eventually eight i need to get this out of the way i think that's your last run yeah that's your last run okay and once you've exited all that material we can remove all of this uh delete that plus that and uh are we gonna let the trucks yeah we'll let the trucks build all this uh i do need to add iron in which is gonna be here and here uh you're gonna be uh import off export off import on export off we want iron ore we want to set that to keep full, and that one I want to set to keep empty, and unpause both of those. All right, and X import off, import off, and import off, because they're going to get wrapped in belts uh, very, very quickly, and that's going to lead to complaining trucks. Now, I'm not going to go through exactly how I put this together. I'm going to release a standalone video on exactly how I put this together, because it's a little bit fiddly, and look, it, it takes a while to get these builds sort of planned out up and working all that sort of stuff and now that's out of the way uh hang on let's just put these in place yeah it takes a while to put these builds together and this is why i, I i'm gonna release it as a standalone video okay uh you know what we're at the point just you need your whole thing done all right it takes a while it takes a while to get these builds worked out oh hang on uh we're out of construction parts great delete those you all do wood delete those as well and you do tier, tier parts which delete that one 
Okay. We'll come back to why I'm deleting some stuff in a second. So, it takes a while to put these builds together. On top of that, um, this is one hell of a beefy build. In fact, I've ratioed it all out. Again, look, what I, what I recommend. I've linked up the top right-hand corner. Also, be probably first pinned comment how I built this, how I put this together, okay? I really recommend if you want to know how to build, like, this is a very, very small, very, very compact, more important or, or just as important, a very, very energy efficient build, okay? The only things that use, well, all the ore belts use power, but the main output belt uses power. That's it. Everything else is unpowered. Consequently, anything that's been unpowered, I've run those longer. And anything that is powered, I've run like as short as possible. At least try to. So, I really, really recommend if you want to know how I put this together, have a look at that video. It'll go through everything, every step, all that sort of stuff. I do need to uh, pause just a few of these machines because technically we've got too much output on our belt. We will get to upgrade the belt later on. And if it's really an issue, you can just run the belt out this way instead into a separate storage if you really want to maximize this build, which is perfectly reasonable and easy to do. Okay, with that out of the way, that is this build, okay? Uh, and we're not going to talk through it. Like I said, dedicate a video if you want to know more. But that it fixes our iron, mostly. Uh, we sort of need to dig it faster, and I need to get rid of that. But that's one thing I want to get done this episode. Next thing I really, really need to get done, uh, which we will not get done this episode, is I need to empty this, okay? So this is where we'll be making our construction parts using uh, the very lightest amount of automation. Uh, also dumping wood and other things because we were using them in construction parts. I need to remove all this, like, you know, construction part level two. I also need to remove this, which is our maintenance, which removing our maintenance is very, very, very dangerous because as soon as we remove maintenance, uh, that number starts falling. If it gets to zero, trucks and machines and all sorts of things break down. But... It needs to be done because I'm trying to avoid, avoid a big pitfall. A big pitfall that, you know, I've seen other people just jump into head first. And that is when you get up to uh, Research 2, trying to have enough power, maintenance, and crude oil coming in to support everything. Speaking of crude oil, let's go crude oil really, really quickly. We have our ship. It's loaded with the construction parts to go fix our oil rig. We're going to get that done. We're going to send the ship off. Bye-bye, uh, shippy. Go get that solved. All right. Ooh, next thing I want to talk about really, really quickly is removing old stuff. So I don't need that anymore. Uh, I don't need the other two level one labs anymore. One, because they're in the wrong way. Two, because those ones up there, I definitely can't feed material into because that's one of the other changes. We need now need to make lab equipment. Hence why I need to remove that as well. Hence why I want to rebuild this with some automation. But then again, I want to keep the power usage as low as possible. Because the more power you we're using, the more diesel we're using, the more diesel we're using, the more oil we're extracting from the ground, and we're down to 66%. Obviously, if that runs out, again, we're in one of those pitfalls. Uh, speaking of pitfalls, that should be done, almost. Now we have our oil rig out on the map, up and running. Okay, oil rig on the map. Great thing, great thing. Takes 36 hour workers. Don't ask how they get there. They just magic. You know, I, I, I'm sure. I'm sure the island helicopter flies them out to work every six months. You know, six month rotation. New crew gets dropped off. Old crew gets brought home. But crew goes out there. They work. They drill oil. Now you might notice that there's actually a reserve here. So we have 1,500 years worth of oil. We're only 40 years into the game, so we're pretty okay so far. If you're at all concerned, there are more oil rigs out on the map, so you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, but it costs 18 workers and 0.4 of a uni to run this, and we get 9 oil every 20 seconds. If I run at double speed, double crew, double uni cost, double the oil out. So, 9 oil every 20 seconds. These guys produce 6 oil every 20 seconds. So it's 50% extra oil. Two caveats with that. Does cost uni does cost a lot more workers, but also doesn't cost power. At the moment, we're using the oil to make diesel, to make power, to get oil. You see the vicious loop that we could end up with ourselves in? So something to keep in mind. Uh, just like, you know, we're currently using power to make... Actually, I see you to priority 15. 
Yeah. We're using power to make, uh, you know, to run the crushers, to, to run the raw, uh, rotary kilns, to run the concrete mixes, to, to make the concrete slabs. We are using power for certain buildings. Certain buildings require power when they're turned on. If a building's not on, it's not using power. Hence, I just lower the power priority on this, which means technically if we ha have a brownout, this being priority 15 will actually be one of the first things that drops out, which is perfectly okay with me because we need, what is it? Nine, 36. We need 36 uh, gravel to keep these guys running. You're going to make 24. You're just making up the difference. Okay. Doesn't really matter if you don't run. Okay. Now, do you remember that oil rig now needs uni? So at this point of the game, you should be fine on uni. In my case, I have uh, oil rig running. That's it. I don't have research or any other things running. But I should be fine on uni for quite some time. When we get the new labs up and running, they cost point two five. So I can run what's that? Seven, seven, six labs uh, at fifty kilowatts each. Uh, let's go with six. Six labs. That's three hundred kilowatts with one point five uni. I don't know whether you can afford the power, but well, let alone the uni cost. So. Yes, uh, I can't see you jumping, you know, you should be fine for uni. That's the bottom line. If you're not, there's a couple of things you can do, and we're going to talk through those right now. Uh, first off is health of people, okay? We have a base of 10, and we're feeding them. Feeding them is important. They, they do like to be fed. And because we're feeding them, we have a health bonus of zero. What I want to do is, one, add a second storage uh, with more potatoes. Uh, three... I want to add another storage, and this time we're going to do vegetables. Because I did put down a vegetable farm in the last episode. Uh, we're just going to plug that in there, unpause all of that, and unpause you. Yeah, and I'll set you two potatoes as well. All right, so when somebody finally decides to bring across the veggies, we'll actually get another bonus. Veggies? No. Structure parts. All right, it's fine. It's fine. Veggies? Veggies? No. All right. Uh, cannot reach destination. Uh, please don't be stuck. You're stuck. Uh, recover. I can wait for the ground to get filled up underneath him, but... Really? Oh, I click recover, and he instantly got reassigned. All right. He's now being dematerialized and rematerialized. Okay. Uh, when you do that, they, they, they just pop out here. Uh, okay. So, where were we? Uh, vegetables, vegetables, vegetables. We have vegetables. Excellent. I only have a plus eight food bonus, which means I need to wait to the next cycle. Uh, do I? Plus eight health. Uh, no, that doesn't actually affect our unity, does it? Food, 1.35. I think it does. Potato, vegetables. There we go. Yes, I'm getting an extra 0 0.2. 0 0.2 from just giving them vegetables. Vegetables were really e easy to make. Uh, you are full and you are half full. Cool. Potatoes are fine. Veggies are fine. All right. So that's another thing you can do just to get a little boost of uni. Uh, next thing we need to talk about is landfill. Landfill's going okay. Uh, mining, digging out this hill is going okay. Uh... Digging through this mountain so trucks don't have to drive around, they can drive straight through, is getting there. This is not getting here. Uh, can I unpause you and you and you? Uh, you're going to be the new import for logs. You and export off. Export off. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're extending this out slightly. Um, and in fact, next episode, we're going to come out here and we're going to do a lot more extensions. Uh, the other thing I do want to mention is... Mr. On Top of the Hill, trying to level out the terrain, has also been told to, hey, uh, whilst you're at it, just, just carve outside the mountain. We're going to make this into a giant ramp. We'll, we'll, we'll need the space in the future after we've mowed down all the trees, after we've got this done, after we've got that done, after we've got something else done. Oil, oil. One last thing I need to cover. Okay. Our boat. Our boat. Our boat's sitting out here, and I've left him here intentionally. I haven't brought him home, haven't sent him out to explore, because I want him to sit here. Because ideally, we would want the automatic cargo. With the automatic cargo ship, because we have that cargo ship out here, I just need to go fix it. After it's fixed, it will come out here automatically, pick up the oil, and bring it back to the cargo depot that we haven't researched yet. Um, but we will we'll do in two episodes' time. I'm telling you now, it's going to be two episodes' time. What we can do with our main boat is we can click load cargo. 
and that'll give you infinite storage. Yes, uh, our main ship, and I think it's just down to the fact that it's a manual, and you got to come here every now and then and click on it, like every 10 minutes, if I'm running at double speed, I need to physically click on the button to collect the, collect the crude oil and shove it on my boat. Also means that eventually, when I bring my boat home, it'll get unlocked and unloaded in the shipyard. And then from the shipyard, until this is empty enough that I can use it, which we might just tick on and hopefully all that stuff goes away, uh, I need to have that recipe. Can I do iron scrap, please? You should be deliverable. Um, Yes, after that's done, I, 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 I need to actually empty this. So what we do need to do very, very quickly, uh, again, prepping for future episodes, is I need to delete those two pipes and those two pipes. I need to get a tank. And we're going to be putting one, two, three storage tanks. So we're going to set you to crude oil, import, export, keep full. Make sure your export off. You can import if you want. We want to come into transport networks. We want a pipe balancer, one of those magical balancers I spoke about previously. That honestly, I'm trying to avoid and have very, very particular use cases. And this is definitely one of them. Because I want to prioritize oil from off-world rather than my local oil. So when that ship comes back, we can load the crude oil into here and it'll flow tank to tank to tank to then flow into this balancer and into this fluid storage tank. That's the plan. And it also means these guys will shut off, which will stop using this. But we're at 64% oil and I still have a significant-ish amount of coastline to fill in. I also have a lot of trees we've got to cut down. And I also need to thoroughly re rebuild this because we're going to need the space. I'm um, like, they have to go... Uh, you need to go... Which I have a spare storage, so we can move it over there maybe. Um, yeah, I, I need to clean up some space, a lot of space. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm going to definitely remind you that if you've watched all the way to the end, can you do me a favor? Can you please click the like button? Again, early series, it really, really helps with the discoverability of the video. It really, really helps YouTube and the algorithm lock onto the video and recommend it to other people, which again, helps out the channel. Same time, I will mention a couple of things, like you might've watched this whole video without an ad blocker on your phone or something. You might've realized, hey, I haven't watched any ads now that I mentioned it, because I actually run the channel uh, ad-free. Um, I do ask for support from the viewers to do so. So if you would like to support the channel or you'd like some of the perks, like being able to watch the videos early, I do provide early access, you come over to Discord, you, you you link your either YouTube account to your Patreon account, depending on which platform you choose to support on, and then you get access to the videos a day, two, three days early. It all depends on how far ahead or behind I am in the recording schedule. So you can get some perks like that. Also, you get access to the private lounge where, you know, we have the comfy seats and, and the nice people, and it's where we keep the cocktails, you know, on the weekends. Anyway, with all that said, I do need to end this episode here. I will see you guys in the next episode where... We basically rebuild down Town Square. We rebuild Town Square. Again, I need to automate it. Also on top of that, I need to keep the maintenance low and also, oh, the power low. I was going to build the captain's office, which I didn't do. We'll jump, we'll, we'll jump through that hurdle in the next episode. Um, yeah, it got missed. Yeah, we'll build a captain's office in the next episode. Um, and then hopefully we can also try and squeeze in, well... We're not getting any research. It's going to take us a full episode to rebuild this. All right, I'm going to leave it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. Click the like button. Click the subscribe button. I've said all the YouTube-y things. And I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.